we have the following problem. What we first want to do is we want to find out what angle that the pilot should change his direction. So turning from this path here to head to Louisville from Chicago. So how we're going to find this first is you know, we're going to use the law of cosines. So I have my angle here. I know how far it is from Chicago to this point where the pilot turns because it says they're traveling for 15 minutes before he makes his correction and he's heading at 220 miles an hour. So that means that he had traveled well, one fourth of an hour times 220. That will be 65 miles. So that means here we're going to have, um, let's see here. So I'm just going to just call this A. And we're going to have A squared is equal to um, 65 squared plus 330 squared minus 2 times 65 times 330 times the cosine of 10 degrees. And what this gets me is it gets me a squared is equal to 70,876.745. And I take the square root of both sides. I get a is equal to 266.2 miles. So I need this now. So with this, I can go ahead and find out my uh, degree. So what I'm going to do here is, let's see. So I have that. So what I'm going to do is, um, so I can just go ahead and plug this in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, angle A. Let's see, I had 330. Okay, so I'm going to find this angle here. I'm going to use the law of cosines to find this. So I'm going to do 330 squared is equal to 65 squared plus 266.2 squared minus 2 times 65 times 2, 66.2 cosine A. And uh, after manipulating all this, I'm not going to do all the math offhand here. I get a uh, angle A is equal to inverse or arc cosine of negative 0 0.977, which gives me 167.707 degrees or 167.7. That's how much this angle is in here. So what this means is we have 180 across this whole line. So that means we do 180 minus. Uh, that uh, 180 minus 167.7. So the pilot for part A, uh, the pilot's going to have to correct by um, 12. Oops, 12.3 degrees. Now for uh, part B, they want to know what the average time is uh, for the or what the average speed ha should be for the pilot to maintain. So the time is. 90 minutes from Chicago to Louisville, despite the, cor the correction that had to be made. So what we have to do for that is we have to add 65 and 260 or 226.2 miles. I can't believe I put 226. There should be 266. Always setbacks here. Okay, so 266.2 miles, and then divide this by 90 minutes, well, 1.5 hours, so we get our miles per hour, and you should have it round out to 220.8 miles an hour. So for part B, we get 220.8. That's it.